this video we are going to solve some problems based on sampling distribution of means so before that we have to learn or we have to understand some concepts so that you can apply in certain problems okay so first of all here we need to understand what is population and what is sample as uh, we have discussed about population and sample population from which if you are taking population is a large sort of thing from which you are taking some small data finite data in order to do some research or clarification so it is nothing but the sample now population we have certain terms statistical measures mean standard deviation size of the population mean we do not buy some sort of thing that is mu we can say then sigma standard deviation capital n p it is size of population the next one is sample sample here you remember x bar mu x bar x bar is nothing but the mean of each sample we'll discuss how to find the mean of each sample and all so we have to see the how to we have to denote each thing okay you have to differentiate between these two so sigma x bar it is a standard deviation of sample now n capital n will be the size of the sample okay so these are the few things you have to remember next two more points you have to remember as a formula it is nothing but if the population is finite or we can say if the sampling is without replacement we have discussed about this that without replacement and with the replacement here the formula mu x bar which is nothing but the mean of sample will be equal to the mean of population in both the cases that is sampling without replacement and with replacement this two will be re it will remain same that is mean of population will be equal to mean of sample next one the standard deviation of sample which is given by the formula sigma by root this is the standard deviation of population by under root of size of sample into under root of square root of np minus n by np minus 1 okay these are the few things you have to remember next in case of sampling with the replacement it is sigma that is mean of sorry standard deviation of sample will be equal to the standard deviation of population by under root of square root of size of sample these are the few formulas you have to remember so that we can solve the problems so let us proceed to the first problem a population consists of five numbers okay so population is given five numbers are given what two three six eight eleven Consider all possible samples of size 2 remember this part size 2 which can be drawn without replacement This is an important word over here without replacement From the population find mean and standard error of the sampling distribution of means We have to find the mean and the standard error don't get confused standard error is basically the standard deviation, okay? so we have to find for the sampling distribution of means so we have to form a table for the sampling distribution of means so let us see what are the certain steps we have to follow the first step is that you have to consider the population what is the size of the population it is nothing but 5 so np is equal to 5 that is 2 3 6 8 11 this is the size of population and here one more thing population mean of the population is not given so we have to find the mean of population how to find is a simple thing add all the observations that is or uh, add all the numbers divided by number of numbers there are five numbers so we have to divide by five add all the numbers divide by five you will get the mean of the population now in case of variance we have to find standard deviation in order to find standard deviation we have to find variance and we have to take the square root of that Variance simple formula what do you have to do square each numbers add them together divided by number of numbers that is 5 minus mean of that whole numbers that means this number mean of this 6 so add all the numbers square it so 2 square 4 3 square 9 6 36 like that you have to square divide by 5 minus the mean of the population so you will get 10.8 square root of that will give you standard deviation of the population okay next we have given that uh, possible samples is size of 2 
so you have to consider all the samples size of 2 now you have to see the numbers and one more thing you have to see that it is given without replacement okay it is not with the replacement without so the numbers won't be repeated that means if you have to state it is easy to find out all the samples so 2 3 then 2 6 2 8 2 11 one more thing if it is with the replacement you can write the vice versa that is 3 2 but here i have not written 3 2 because this is without a replacement this thing you have to remember i'll just tell you how to write so first number you would take then match with the other numbers okay write with the other numbers pair with the other numbers 2 3 2 6 2 8 and 2 11 this is size of 2 okay remember size of 2 next take 3 number and leave this part that is two number you have to leave because this is without replacement so two six sorry three six three eight and three eleven that's what i have written over here next number you have to choose that is six so you have to leave these two numbers and move forward six eight six eleven next the last one that is eight eleven this will be one pair okay eight eleven now eleven is the last number so no need to pair with any of these numbers again because this is without a replacement okay this thing you have to remember now we have to find each mean of these samples samples this is sampling distribution of means that means you have to find the mean of each sample then you have to make the distribution table so it's simple 2 plus 3 divided by 2 that is 2.5 like that you have to do 2 plus 6 divided by 2 that is 4 2 plus 8 divided by 2 5 like that you have to do for the whole thing okay so here it is 7 and 8.5 and 8 plus 11 divided by 2 is 9.5 this is how we have to find the mean of each sample that is nothing but the x bar so the next step is that you have to form the table sampling distribution of mean that means mean of each sample that is x bar 2.5 from where I am writing 2.5 and all this here you can see this I have we have got the mean of each sample 2.5 6.5 that's what I have written over here whole thing 9.5 now we have to write the frequency frequency is nothing but number of times it is occurring here you can see all the terms all the mean you can see over here it is occurring only one except for the seven seven is occurring here and here also okay this is not there here and here also okay so that's what I have written over here that is 2 now we have to find sum up all the frequencies you will get it as 10 now what do we need to do we have to find the mean of the sample okay that means sampling distribution of mean so mu x bar is equal to summation of f into x bar by summation of f now add multiply with the frequency and add it with this so 1 into 2.5 plus 1 into 4 1 into 4.5 that's what I have written over here remember one thing here 2 is there so 2 into 7 that is 14 add all this up and divided by 10 nothing but the sum up all the frequencies that is summation of f that is 10 so we will get the answer as 6 next thing is that you have to find the variance in order to get the standard deviation so variation of the sample will be summation of f into x square by summation of f minus mu x bar the whole square it is nothing but the mean of this one mean of sample so what we need to do simple thing you have to square all these numbers multiply with the frequency so remember one frequency is 2 okay for the 7 so you have to do it that thing be careful while doing the sum so it is summation of f is 10 so divided by 10 then add all this up minus the mean which we have got that is 6 square of that now you will get the answer as 4.05 then you have to find the square root of that in order to get the standard deviation of um, the sample now one more thing i should tell you that we have discussed some formula before only i will just show you so here you can see we have discussed the formula for each case so you can directly go for the formulas that is nothing but I'll just show you how to go so here we have given without replacement the question says without replacement so you have to concentrate on this part anyways mu x bar is 
equal to mu and this summation this is the standard deviation of the sample we have the formula so that's what i have written over here using formula mu x bar that is the mean of sample will be always equal to the mean of population therefore it is 6 only and before so you can see over here first we have discussed the how to calculate the mean of population it is 6 only so here also we have got the same value that is nothing but 6 so you can go for that formula directly also next for the standard deviation we have one formula for the without replacement that is sigma x bar is equal to sigma this is the standard deviation of population which we have calculated in the first itself that is 3.286 I have to just replace it with this 3.286 divided by under root of square root of n n is nothing but what size of sample so we have we have got the size of sample it is given over here that is nothing but 2 size of sample should be what 2 so it is nothing but 2 n is 2 what is np size of population it is nothing but what 5 we have calculated we it was given in the question itself 5 numbers so it is nothing but 5 minus 2 by 5 minus 1 after calculating the whole thing you will get the answer as 2.012 which is nothing but this one so in order to avoid all these steps you can directly instead of doing all these steps you can directly go for the formula itself but it depends on the marks given for the question okay